Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a super tiny Dollar Tree haul for you. My stores really don't have anything new. I don't have a lot of needs in my life right now, but I wanted to get show you what I got. There was Alex behind me. Come here, Alex. Let's see if I can get him to come over. Dovey, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, there's Alex. Can you say hi? Hey buddy, you come say hi. I just got home from physical therapy. <gasps> it's killing me, guys. It's killing me, but it has to be done. Uh, watch this. I can get my arm all the way up to there on my very own. I know. Today, we're about eight and a half weeks out. Yeah, about eight and a half weeks. Hi, buddy out and um he said about another week week and a half in my sling only when i'm outside of the house i don't have to wear it at home and i don't have to wear it while i'm sitting at my desk but i do put it on when um my arm starts getting tired and sore there's a lot of muscle and scar tissue and stuff so today i can show you i it's arthroscopic so i have four on this side and then there's one on the back so today, and I'll be bruised tomorrow, he took this metal thing, I don't know, put lotion on my arm and then he rubs it over these incisions to try to break any scar tissue that might develop. And then my collarbone was bothering me today, so he rubbed on that a little bit. And then we started motion. I know, so I'm excited. So just a little, um, What's going on with my crazy shoulder? Today was much better down here. I'm not feeling all this. It's sore up here, it's bruised from where they're rubbing on it, but they've gotta make sure that scar tissue doesn't attach to the bone, cause then I'm gonna be in a world of trouble. So um, yeah, I got exercises to do at home. He's got me moving it. This motion hurts really bad, but. Um, so it's sore right now. Tonight I'll ice it before I go to bed and then um, probably take some extra ibuprofen tomorrow just because I'll be sore. So just to say, physical therapy is kicking my butt, but I, you know, got to do it. I have coffee in my, you can never have too much yarn. Mo oh, you can't see it. My Sarah got me this. You can never have too much yarn. And that is true. And it's going to prove here in a minute. I love to knit. I need to show you guys some of my knitting because I enjoy knitting. And I have some hazelnut coffee. I decided that even though it's 6.30, I earned a cup of coffee. It's a little chilly today here too. It's like 69 degrees, so it's coffee weather. All right, first of all, I wanted to show you. I bought these um, boards, letter boards. They're foam. They work great, they're styrofoam, like not styrofoam, they're like a rubbery foam. They don't have the velvet, I guess, which are fine. Um, you get 50 letters. I did one for work today, I took to work. I bought, I purchased three altogether. Yes, two black, two gray and one black. So I put on the black, surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. And I had to open every single one because they only come with one G. So, but at the end of the day, I paid $3 and I can use the rest of these letters to do fun stuff on these two, but just be aware of the letters that are in it. And you're going to be, if you don't buy several packs, you're going to be kind of limited on the things that you can say. So I've got two more to do for different things. And I have a bunch of letters to do it with. So I think for $3, it's totally worth it. And if they're nice and it works really well, if you move your letters, you're gonna see a hole. Where it was, that hole does close up. It just takes a little time. So don't worry, just put your letters out and give it about an hour and all of the holes will be gone. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So let's just say we're gonna put this P on the board. I'm going to put the P in there and let it sit for a minute. So the P is right here. And these, you know, they're a dollar. They only have the hook at the bottom. That's okay. Sit it up right. So I put my P in and I'm like, oh, wait, no. I want my P here. So I move the P. Do you see that hole that it left? That will close up. Don't worry about it. Just take some time. 
if I remember, I'll show you this. I took the peas off and you can see the two holes at the end of the night. After I'm done showing you the little things that I bought, we'll see. But yeah, and my niece had a great idea. She bought um, some for her classroom because she teaches English, if I didn't tell you, high school English. She loves her kids and she bought some for her bookshelves and she's going to, her theme color is black and gold. And she's going to spray paint her letters gold before she unhooks them. So that's an option too. You have also use spray paint or nail polish. Think about that. Mind blow. I know. All right. Let's show you what I purchased besides the letter boards, which I had already had. I went back and got um, the two more. And then when she came, we went to my same Dollar Tree and she bought the rest. But, okay. So I ran in and I bought <laughs> for my shoulder. I get the extra large, which are pretty good size, and I cut them down for my shoulder. Um, so I usually can use two, but these are great, especially like tomorrow. I will need these. And this is a name brand. It may be cheaper to buy them at the store, but I was there and I needed them. So I got two yesterday. I found these, and I think I'll use these for my Christmas in July, even though they're summer scarves. I'm not, this is not something I'm wearing in the summer, but this definitely matches all of my Christmas decor for sure. So I grabbed one of each. I thought that was sufficient to do something. I don't know what, but I'll put it in my basket of Christmas in July stuff, and then come July, I better start working on these soon. Um, I will have something done with these. I'm thinking like bows or I don't know, whatever. So I grabbed one of each because I actually do utilize both of these buffalo checks at Christmas time. This I do in my bedroom. I have a bedspread, so I could do something for my room. So I grabbed two of one of each. I think that's, again, enough. And then they had these out, which are exciting to me. I grabbed two packages. They are little um, squeeze bottles. They hold two ounces. Now, the first thing I'm doing with these, and if you've seen on uh, Pinterest, you can tie-dye using sheet pans with shaving cream. You get the writ dye, and you drip it on the shaving cream, and then what they did is put pillowcases in them. So my little cousin, they're not really little. She's 12, but she's still my little cousin. Um, this summer, we're going to do with her girlfriends. We're going to make those. So I was like, well, these are perfect. I can just drop. You can use them for paint. You can use them for anything, really. Making cookies, you put um, royal icing in these and you can use them to frost. These are gonna be perfect. Now, if I use them for crafting, I will not use them for um, food. But if you didn't use them for food, you know, crafting first. But I will use them and I think these are perfect for mixing colors and things. So after we're done, I'll wash them out and keep them in my craft room. I thought that was a great deal, two for a dollar why not why not all right my absorbing junior needs to go into my work bag well one of them anyway i can't well i can't open them because i might they activate okay then i did go back like i said and i grabbed the pot holders Ugh, i just need them but what i'm doing with these pot holders is not um using them as pot holders which i mean they're perfectly fine but i saw again on pinterest a way to take them you fold them, put a button, and sew a towel, and then you attach it to your stove. I know, isn't that amazing? And my sewing machine does make buttonholes, so I can just put two buttons, or even Velcro I might use, just some Velcro to hold it together. And then on the one side, you sew your kitchen towel, half of a kitchen towel, really. And I would just get a yellow or green or a white, and then make for my stove, I love, I am such an old lady. I love having towels hanging on my stove that I can just grab and use. So that's what I'm gonna do with these because I have plenty of pop holders, so. But I love this pattern. And then I grabbed one more of these. I didn't know if I, ouch, that hurt. I didn't know if I needed it or not, um, but for a dollar it matches my kitchen. These cats, is anybody else's pets shedding like fiends? I have cat fur everywhere in my house. I have been, don't call animal rescue on me, but every morning I take um, the sticky lint rollers to my bed because my black cats are shedding. 
and they leave, they sleep with me and I leave, get these black fur all over my bed. I am not allergic to the cats, but my allergies are so bad that I think they're making my stuffiness worse. It's not an allergy though, I've been tested. I've been taking the lint roller, the sticky roller to the cats. I did, both of them. I rolled them down this morning. I'm like, y'all are shedding. I am changing my bed twice a week. Twice a week I'm washing sheets because it's so bad. Just wanted to throw that out there. My life is rough. Okay. Then I went last night and, oh, I grabbed one of these to try too, their brand. Because I can't always find the um, Absorbing Junior. And this one comes with two patches. And this is hot and cold, pain relieving menthol gel on a breathable adhesive patch. These are great when I'm working. If my arm starts getting sore, I just slap one on and it just helps while I'm working. So I wanted to try the Assured brand just to see how it works. I'll let you know. So I may take this tomorrow and do it first because I know the Absorbing Junior ones work. And here's my little pro tip. When I travel, I, um, I bring these with me and I cut them. I pre-cut them and put them in a Ziploc baggie. And then, especially longer flights, if I have a sciatic nerve, I am such an old lady. I have a sciatic nerve that gets pinched sometimes when I'm sitting too long and I can put this on my hip and on my thigh where it starts hurting and it helps on the flight. Um, so I always travel with a pack of this cut in half already. And then if I don't use it, I don't use it. But if I do, if I need it, I have it. So we're gonna try the Assured brand. We know the Absorbing Junior works. And yes, I smell like somebody's grandma at work. And I don't care. I need to be able to work. And they don't care because they want me to work, so. Okay. Then I only have a couple more things here, kids. I wanted to try this. And we're going to test it out. Not fully, but this is Global Beauty Gold Gel Face Mask. Not tried this before. And it says with mask applicator. Now I've bought the applicator from Global Beauty. I'm trying to take the sticker off. They have an advertisement. Join our community. Well, I might if I like it. So, oh, what's in here? It is, oh, they give you a face spatula. I bought the silicone applicator. What I really want to do is smell this. It's gold. No fragrance whatsoever. I cannot smell a thing. It has, if I can read it, that's in Spanish. Let me find the English side. That's not English. Water, sodium, lauren, and sulfate, glycerin, propylene, glycol, some other kind of glycol, wheat protein, retinol, some type of acid, hydroxylithine. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here, but we're going to try it. Not tonight because I'm hurting already, but um, this I think gel mask for your face. I think there's a couple uses in these little jars. And it does come with a fun little, which would be fun for crafting too if you need a little mini spatula. But I have the um, silicone one that they sold a while back that I'll use for this. And I will let you know again how this works out. Um, I, get, I have got really sensitive skin. So I'll try a small patch first. But the other stuff I bought, oops, sorry, that I bought from this company, I did not have any issues with. So we're gonna try the gold mask. I don't know if you're ready for this. But I found another pair of these just saying socks when pigs fly. Come on, they're flying pigs, guys. And the purple heel, I'm not sure who's getting all these socks, to be honest with you. One of my one of the men's in my life, either my brother or my um, sister-in-law's husband. M my brother's ex-wife's and her husband were weird. We're all very friendly. And I spend Christmas with them and with Sarah, it's Sarah's mom and stepdad, hi guys. Um, yes, yeah, so we love them and look at these. So somebody's getting a fun box of crazy men's socks and they both will enjoy them. So I'm not worried about it, but 
these are a nice quality sock. I'm not gonna lie. So if you see them, you grab them for somebody in your life. But I'm saving these for Christmas because I have got a bag going. So I grabbed a pair of those because, duh, they're pink pigs fine. So I grabbed those for Christmas gift. And then the last two things I got were books. I purchased for one shiny dollar. This book, it's How We Sew Beautiful Aprons. And this was $9.99 in the US. And, oh no, I'm sorry. This was $9.99, nine pounds, 99 pence in the UK and $19.99 in the US. And what it has is directions and different ideas for making different aprons, right? So you kind of pick the apron that you like. And then in the back is a pattern. Like what? Now, um, I don't know if you have to enlarge these or not. I don't think so. But what I would say, if you're not a sewer, you want to trace the pattern pieces maybe because they are overlapping each other. So what I do is I just get um, white paper and you just trace the pieces or not. I mean, it depends how many aprons you want to make or if you just find one style that you like and you can make multiple aprons out of that one style. And in the back is all the other books that they have, but look at that denim one. Is that not adorable? I did want to use, make a denim one out of leftovers and they have children's sizes and just basics. Probably what I will do is pick one apron. Oh, look at that apron skirt. I'm looking for a cute pattern to show you. Like I enjoy this pattern right here. It's very basic with the little sweetheart collar and the little pockets. I will probably cut out this pattern and then I can make multiple of the same design. But I can also trace the pattern if I see something else that I enjoy for somebody else or for me or whatever. There's children's in here. Oh, so adorable. And for a dollar, um, yes, please. So that one is perfect. So I grabbed that lickety split and if there was more than one I would have grabbed another one but I got it and then the other one I got is geo knits it's a knitting book that I don't know how much this book was $22 in Canada $19.95 in the US and it's just patterns it's a pattern book of geometric designs look how fun that is this is a triangle caplet like how fun is that? So there's all kinds of knitting patterns in here, which I love to knit. Oh, I would, I think I need to make these polka dot wristlets. So yeah, I don't know when this book was published. It looks slightly dated. Yeah, 2016. So really it's only two, three years old. That's nothing in the knitting world. <gasps> Look at the leg warmers, girls, come on. And the shawls, all the fun things. Oh, you can even knit pillows, pillow covers. So yeah, I grabbed a knitting book. I and I covet these knitting books when I find them. And what is funny is I um I went in, I skipped that row, the aisle that has the books at my store because there was a ton of people down there. So I was getting ready to leave, and I'm like, nope, I gotta go check the books because if there was a knitting book, and I said that in my head, if there was a knitting book, and then lo and behold. I found my knitting book and this so when I get my arm back I'm definitely definitely going to make this apron I love that sweetheart collar um, and I might make it with Christmas fabric that I have an abundance of I've got an abundance of fabric so I can make it out of whatever all right that's everything I got this week tomorrow's video I believe or Thursdays we got to see how I feel tomorrow when I get home from work is going to be a keto review of some items that I've been eating that are purchased. Not that I cooked, but that I bought. And I wanted to go over the different items, tell you what I liked, what I didn't like. And yeah, so if you're wanting to purchase some keto type food or if you are keto, check back with me and I will show you what I have. All right, everybody. Bye. You have a great one. I will talk to you later.